Hey guys, what's going on? We're in episode 17 and been doing a lot of upgrades, little home touches and such. Like, I went ham with bone meal around here because it just was so plain. And I lowered this little situation and it, I think it works better now. I didn't have to lower this at all, I think they're just able to hit me or see me more. Mm hmm, mm hmm, or less. Okay. I think without the slab there, it's good. Yeah. So I might just remove the piston altogether then, if it's not gonna help. This guy's just flying. But I've actually had to stop picking up the records because. I have too many. Like that purple one, and ah, oh, there's two of it. I'll take this broken one. Yeah, I don't, I, I just drop them now because I have full rows of certain ones, and once I get a full row of all of them, I think I'll be fine. I think I have at least one of everything. Uh, I don't know how many music discs there are. I know in the PC version they have a blue one. I don't think I've heard that one yet. Ah, oh, man. Ah, I just keep picking up junk. Stop it. Uh-huh. Anyways. Uh, what has been happening? Oh, okay. So, we got robbed. And I added these lamps. But we got robbed. Our enchanting table is not here anymore. It's, it's gone. It's not permanently gone, it's actually just moved. And the new tree that has been added, see this nice little waterfall action coming off? A little balcony looking area right now. This huge little tree, we'll, we'll go up there, we'll take a gander. It's pretty uh, interesting. We should, uh, no, we don't need to sleep. Um, uh, I added this, instead of having the solid logs like it is in this room, I decided to make it look like the tree just got chopped, like it's just completely flattened and you can still see some of the branches in it along with the leaves and I think it looks pretty cool. And then I didn't even try to do this on purpose but it looks like it's going into a different room just because the biome is different so the leaves change colors so I think that looks pretty cool I started adding the logs in the middle and like little supports type things like we did in here and I also set up a little area to save the potions like store them in here this side has the harmful potions and the side has the health and good beneficial potions and then this is the hallway that we added I uh, had it slowly change between the birch and the spruce and then I just had a little bookshelf area with some paintings as you're walking through a hallway some stuff on the walls you know and then we moved the enchanting table into here has its own little corner and this top row is unnecessary, but it looked weird without it, so I just added that in there. And it'll still get a level 30. I don't have anything to enchant. Um, and then I added this staircase here because I wanted to have a backyard, but we're suspended in the air in a tree, so you can't really have a backyard, but you can still have a patio. So I have this spiral staircase going up into where you could get a good view. You have a little garden area right here. You have a nice view over the ocean. And then a nice little water slide to go in. And then we got the uh, the uh, umbrella and um, what would you call these? They're not lawn chairs, but they're like the recliner type chair. Not even recliner. But, you know, like lay down on these in the shade. And then you have your table for your tropical drinks. 
And then a little table up here if you wanted to have lunch on the edge. Look down at the chicken and sheep. And uh, we also finished the mob trap. It goes perfect with the uh, height limit for right now. Didn't try to do that. And I also put more snow on this uh, spruce tree. Just like that one. Didn't want to leave this one hanging. And... Dun, dun, dun. I don't know if I want to have them like this or have them like this. Like, we can move the chair up a little bit, but I think it just looks better like that. Even though it's longer than the two blocks that a person is. And I had some vines hanging from here, because it's, it's an umbrella, but it's still made of leaves. So it's still foresty, and you want to get that feeling. And this little wooden plank area is going to be the start of a new room that we will be building today. Right here, it's going to be the guest bedroom. I was kind of contemplating what to make this room, and I decided on guest room, but a few other ideas I had would have been um, like an armory where you can have um, like bows and swords because we already have the closet that has all the armor and such, but we don't really have an area for weapons, so I don't know. A nice little armory area could be good as well. Maybe build that later. And then I was also thinking um, a... I heard a firework outside. There's another one. It's not 4th of July yet, guys. Come on now. Ugh. They're still going. Anyway, I was either thinking an uh, armory, guest bedroom, or a doghouse kind of thing for Tom and Jerry over here. Because they've just been sitting in the same spot for a very long time. But, eh, I don't know. I think that would be, a, like, an expansion off the tree into, like, a little, little bush room. But yeah, we're going to start building up this room and I think I'll I'll put the trunk in and the bottom area of the leaves uh, off camera but we're gonna build up the main room right now so let's just get all this junk situated and let's start building I was kind of thinking maybe we should just leave these leaves in here so it's like a multi-colored room just because it's it's like the guest room, they don't really get to pick their colors of the room. It's like, oh man, this is this is what you gave me. You couldn't even stick to one color in here. <clears throat> I don't know. I guess we'll see how it looks. These oak leaves in different biomes look crazy. <laughs> okay. So I think we're just going to make the room in three high. It doesn't have to be anything special, it is indeed a guest room. Uh, just get a little random with it. Kind of want to resist the symmetry. And we'll probably add glowstone in later. I don't have any more glowstone, I kind of wasted it on uh, the lamps hanging from the trees. I'll go down there at night time so you can see it, it looks pretty cool. Is this three high? Ow. It is now. Hmm. There could be a little bookshelf area or something here. We are on full blocks, so they're not slabs. Yeah, so this is the water slide. If you ever fall in, you could always get back up. And, you know, it works for diving in and such. I actually have a uh, kind of interesting experience with water slides. When I was in like fourth grade, maybe fifth grade, elementary school, 
I, uh, I had a friend that had a swimming pool with a water slide, and the pool, or the slide, kind of wrapped around a little wave, and then it went into the pool, into the deep end, but the ladder that you would climb up for the start of the slide was in the shallow end, which is like three feet deep, and we thought it would be incredibly genius if we just climbed up on top of the water slide and jumped off, and you can't make it to the, uh, the deep end, so we would just jump off into the shallow end, which is <laughs> three feet deep water, which isn't smart to do, but it was still fun. But when you have a water slide and you, you have to turn it on, and it starts spraying water down it so you don't like get burnt from <laughs> trying to slide down it in like a swimsuit, so it's wet on the side and it's slippery and when you're up there trying to get grip for your feet you don't want to slip and fall because you're either going to fall in shallow water or on the concrete right there which almost happened to me <laughs> i uh i got up there and tried to get my footing and slipped. I didn't even try to jump. I slipped as I got up there and fell and I was mm, two inches away from probably breaking my leg on concrete and just like barely made it into the pool. That was enough to make us stop jumping off. Uh, it was still fun though. His parents would always get mad at us for doing it. And uh, that never stopped us, but once one of us almost broke something, then it was like, oh, you know, maybe we should, uh, <laughs> maybe we should stop doing this. Maybe it's not that great of an idea now. Yeah. Better, better to learn without somebody breaking something than to learn the even harder way. Oh, but it was so frightening. <laughs> near bone breaking experience it's almost like the experience you get when you nearly drown in the pool ah uh, that's always the best and by best I mean that sucks <laughs> oh god you know that feeling you get when you almost drown <laughs> when you're in the bottom of the pool <laughs> come on guys watch my dive watch my dive you jump in the pool splash Right as you touch the bottom, you immediately think to yourself, WHERE'S THE SURFACE?! You're trying to come up on and you always come up under the kid in the raft. Ugh. Dangerous life. Eh, I don't want to remove the snow, but it's still transparent. Mm. Sorry, 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 sorry. This is the randomization you gotta do. You gotta thicken up the outside of the tree so it's not that transparent. We still wanna keep a random-ish kind of shape. Uh, oh, it's getting to nighttime. Go check out those lamps soon. I uh, can't wait for redstone lamps. I don't know if I'm going to be making a new world with this update. I might just stick to this world, but I I do want the jungle-ish type things. I know I talked about it in an earlier episode. Just switch it to creative mode really fast and just get like half a stack of jungle saplings and spawn in like two cats just so you can have them there and uh, tame them and just like the features that you wouldn't get if I just stayed in this world but we've done so much in this world and if we're gonna be playing on the Xbox One version and we don't get to transfer the save then we're definitely making a new world but uh, I don't want to make like another two new worlds. Like I'm okay with making a new world, but 
I think I have to make one like after this update and then a few months later when the Xbox One comes out, ah, it's going to be kind of demotivating because then I'm not going to want to build in the older world because I'm like, well, I have to wait for the new one to come out to do this because this is going to be cool and you don't want to redo stuff, but it might turn into that. And yeah, we're going to have to go down to get the bottom of the tree. Right now, this looks like a floating, bushy balcony. And let's just get a little bit more right there. It's higher up than that one, get some elevation difference. All right, let's go check out those lamps. Oh, kitties. Oh, those kittens started, no, not started, but their teeth started uh, coming in noticeably yesterday when they were nibbling on my finger. I could feel it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Even though there's torches all over the floor, it still lights up the under part of the tree. So you could get, like, the full effect of all the little detail that goes into the bottom of it. All random. Oh no. No kitties. If I cut away it's just because they're being really loud. Okay, they were indeed being loud. Uh, but let's sleep. Ah, uh, you know what, we've been sleeping in this bed. Let's go sleep in the other bed. Do you see that? What is that? What? <laughs> what? How did you guys get in here? It's all wood in here. What did you spawn on? Did you spawn on this one grass block? Wow. Why are you guys taking a shower in my bathroom? What? Why? I don't even... How? Uh, okay, so apparently you can spawn on that. Good to know. Get out of my shower. Shame on you guys. Didn't even ask. Maybe if you asked, this would be a different conversation. So disappointing. I can't believe they spawned on a one... Uh, the one block in the house that they could spawn on, and that's what they choose. And then they wander into the shower. I wonder why they couldn't get out of there. It seemed like they were trapped. That mob trap is intense. I think if I build another one, I'm going to build each floor out of a different block. So you could tell how many floors there are, other than this giant tube looking thing. Because if... If I use colored wool, it could look like a giant rainbow. And that could be kind of cool. Um, I don't know if we should start working on the interior, or uh, we should probably start working on the interior. Okay. okay. So I guess let's look at it from uh, afar. Yeah. I'll just add a little bottom layer to it and then put the trunk going down. Kitty, shh! I am recording. Jeez. Ugh. But yeah, we'll add that in. But first, let's add, uh... Oh, I added two chests here because of, uh, the clutter in this one. This one's empty so far. If I cut away again, it's because they're being loud again. Okay guys, I'm back. And this right here is accidental amazing sauce. I said it. Okay, this is a cobblestone slab in an item frame and there's a torch on the same block. And it looks like the um the cobblestone slab 
is holding it in the wall like an actual torch would be held by and when we get upside down stairs and slabs and I'm able to build with uh, more detail if I decide that I'm going to build a castle you best believe that every torch in that castle is going to look just like this because that is beautiful I, j I just want to try it with a uh, with a stair as well. I lost all of that. Oh, I found all of it. What happens if you use a stair? Does it go sideways? It does. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It it's not the same. So yeah, slabs with the item frame torch combo is beautiful. Ingenious and beautiful. So I got a whole bunch of stuff prepared. I was too lazy to go get uh, another wool for a painting. So I took one from right here and just replaced it with a clock. Because I can. And, you know, slow transition. Uh, this is what the room looks like. It's still a little transparent through the walls. Fixable. Um, I might put more leaves right here. And I could walk in. I don't know. I guess it's fine. Um, I, I'm going to remove these other colored leaves from the wall. So, uh, it's all going to be one color. Oh, there's a hole there. Okay, so I had a few ideas, um, a different kind of idea for a chair, and let's just start decorating. Okay, beds can go right here, even number, uh, perhaps a painting above it, and eh, might need more than one painting. Where, where's the painting of that guy standing straight up? Uh, if I put an item frame here, can I put a painting? Will you spread to it? I don't think you will. They really need to make it so you can just put a painting on the wall and then use the left trigger to change the painting to whatever other painting can be in that spot because breaking it constantly is uh, monotonous. I just want the other painting. Watch me not even like the painting. Stop it. I just want the... It's like it's not even possible. If I remove this, is it going to be possible? Wow. Wow. Uh, I already have that painting in the other bedroom, so maybe I should get the one of the guy. The other person standing. Stop it. That one. Eh. Maybe. Okay. We're still gonna need some glowstone in here. It's looking really moody. Hmm. A little too wide area. What can go here? What is too wide? Oh, I wanted to try a nice little plantation type thing, like how the other room has, but instead we're gonna use mycelium. And we're going to uh, plant some mushrooms on there for a different color. And then we'll put some trapdoors along this. Do I have trapdoors? I don't. Ah, I thought I was prepared. Um, trapdoors. Gorgeous. And then uh, a light for right now. Uh, I wanted a spot for a computer. Not sure. Um, right next to the bed, perhaps. You know what, right here. I'm gonna use this indention. So, eh, hmm. What, can, what is the computer going to sit on? Oh, you know what, I don't even think I can do it right here. 
Let's have a dark. I want spruce. So, I think I have some spruce. Right? Yeah. Okay. Now, this computer design is in uh, my first choice. I don't have a keyboard. Yeah, keyboard. Come on now. Um, keyboard. Okay, so basically, I'm going to have to rip this wall out. If the computer went there, and the keyboard was on top, we're going to take an item frame, and we're going to put it on the pressure plate, like that. That's a different kind of uh, laptop computer. I don't know if I like that, though. And actually, I don't even think you need to put it there. I think you can uh, just, yeah. Um, that, putting it against the pressure plate on the other side is good if you want a computer like in the middle of the room and you can't put a painting on anything. That's when you're gonna want the item frame. I don't know, what, what would you be searching on the internet? Uh, Oh, you know what? Since it's Minecraft and you're going to be searching things about Minecraft, the main block, right? A little grass block. Just plop. You know what they're searching. And then pass that up. And for the chair, I want to do something like the couch and have it actually sitable um, I don't have any track dang pacing back and forth back and forth and I have another idea while I was doing that I'm just gonna need one of these whoa just one uh, track mm-hmm now let's just get some dirt place Rail. I didn't show how you made the uh, couch before, so this is how you make it. Mm hmm. And then for the seat, you're gonna do that. And you're gonna put a piston against it. Activate the piston. Chair. Looks a little funny. But how does it look? That is a really tall computer. Well, the mycelium is spreading, and I'm not sure what to do about this. Might just want to use an actual stair. I didn't want to, though. I wanted to do a little bit of something different. Uh, if I use spruce there, I'm going to have to pick a different computer. Boom. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, got a keyboard. Probably put another bookshelf right here. And a trap door on that. To add a little extra stuff next to the computer. This does not need to be here. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, maybe instead of having this painting here what we can do is put the painting above the beds and then put a flower pot right there or maybe a sitting area eh, mm. let's try this I like the spruce leaves because they don't change no matter where they are like they could be in the nether and they still look like this. Eh. You can't really have a leaf type plant in a house with the walls as leaves. It doesn't work. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, so I'm going to go get some mushrooms for this. Uh, perhaps we will take a look at the other bedroom for a few ideas. 
Oh, something, something to add in. Do I have another bookshelf? Hmm, I don't. Pity. Mm -hmm -hmm. Let's get two red mushrooms and then one brown mushroom. Anything in here that would be decorative? Jack o' lantern. Uh, cactus. Nether wart. I mean, you could plant nether wart and it adds a lot of color. It's red. Like that. Okay, so. Oh, adding logs in the walls, that's something. Got my input. Do I have any other block that would be good for a computer? Computer looking sandstone? Hmm. Vines. <laughs> Since it's so popular right now. Vine. If you guys don't know what Vine is, it's a website that has six second videos of randomness. Um, and it's extremely popular out of nowhere. It's just one of those things. Okay. It's a little dark now. If I put glowstone above that, it might break it, but I think because it's on mycelium, it'll be fine. Or that might just be a mushroom biome. I don't know. But yeah, since it's so popular, people would be searching it on the internet. You'd be looking at vine. Yeah. And this grass block can be used as a flower box. Right... And uh, maybe this corner. Maybe right there. And go there. Okay. And since we already have a red bed and the red mushrooms, another wart would be a little overkill. So it arose. So let's use the yellow flower. That... Okay, so I'm going to go get a bookshelf and I'm going to go get that yellow flower. I'll be right back. Okay, this episode is getting abnormally long and... Uh, this is the slightly finished product. I put the glowstone in, and I moved this chair back so you could actually sit in it, put some signs on it for the armrests, bookshelf with a little trap door, and I put a little table here, well, a fence, and I was going to put a wooden pressure plate on it, but with the whole matching floor to the table to the... To the tabletop, it was just too much, and I think even the fence itself is too much. So I think I'm going to try the nether brick fence, and and yeah, it's different. I like it. It's a little dark in this corner. Something bad might pop up in here unless I put a couch here. Maybe just a chair, a little corner chair. Mm. Maybe with the uh, corner stairs, it would look really cool. Actually, I know it would look really cool. But I think that's going to be it for this episode, and I think the proper way to close this episode out is to actually use this room. So thanks for watching, guys.